diversity of living world so here the meaning of diversity is variation at all levels of biological organization for example the living organisms which are living on the earth are not unique they shows variation in their structure in their behavior in their habitat in their ecology so here these kind of variations at all levels of biological organization is known as diversity so here in this diversity of living world first we are going to discuss about the what is life so what is life see here life is an exclusive property of the living organisms so here living organisms only exhibit the property of life so here as per the study of fossils of some microbial organs had revealed that the history of life on the earth is 3.5 billion years means the life had started on the earth 3.5 billion years ago so here in spite of diversity among all the living organisms there are some fundamental similarities so here for example even though they are showing diversity there are some fundamental similarities like all the cell possess protoplasm all the individuals possess dna as their genetic material and that dna is made up of nucleotide see here some similarities for example if you see one is protoplasm second one is dna third one is nucleotides so here all the cells have protoplasm and the cellular genetic material is dna and each and every individual's dna is made up of nucleotides so even though diversity is there among the living organisms there are some fundamental similarities like protoplasm dna and nucleotides so these are the three characters exhibited by all the living things on the earth let us see some properties of the living organisms so what are the characters exhibited by the living organisms see here first thing is cellular organization cellular organization so here each and every individual's body is made up of one or many cells so here means individual body making begins from single cell animal to organ system grade, grade of organization so for example if you see if an individual is made up of a single cell so that is called as unicellular organization for example if you take protozoans are made up of a single cell so this kind of unicellular organization is also known as protoplasmic organization protoplasmic organization so here in the protoplasmic organization or unicellular organization the single possess different kinds of organelles and these organelles performs different types of functions so here in the living things there are two types of cells are there there are two types cells are present so one is prokaryotic cells one type is prokaryotic cells second one is eukaryotic cells so here what is the difference between the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell so for example if you take prokaryotic cells so here the cells without distinct nucleus is called as prokaryotic cells means for example if you see these cells there is no clear or distinct nucleus so nucleus is not clear what is the meaning of distinct nucleus if the nucleus is covered by a clear envelope is called as a uh, distinct nucleus so when such type of distinct nucleus is absent so that is called as prokaryotic cells in the prokaryotic cells dna is naked dna means genetic material or dna is not at all covered by nuclear envelope so the cells without nuclear envelope around the dna are known as prokaryotic cells so here eukaryotic cells so here if you look at the eukaryotic cells so eukaryotic cells are with distinct nucleus with distinct nucleus means the for example if it is a cell so this cell has dna 
This DNA is the genetic material of the cell and it is covered by nuclear envelope. It is covered by nuclear envelope. When nuclear envelope is present, so then it is said to be eukaryotic cell. So these are the two types of cells present in the different types of organisms. Prokaryotic cells without a distinct nucleus and eukaryotic cells with distinct nucleus means nuclear material or DNA is covered by a nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane. So this is the first character of the living organisms. 